The project at home was started as a harmless hobby. He just thought that their house could do with a new patio and shrubbery. But after digging through some concrete, he found something tucked away in the foundation of his house that was clearly not meant to be found. David also knew that it was high time he fixed up his home in Michigan. He'd always used an excuse to put it off, but not anymore. After one of his kids hurt themselves on the stairs, he knew it was the final straw. He would tear down the front stairs, and while he was at it, he would build a porch. He knew that it would be worth it, a nice family porch for everyone to enjoy once it was built. But after digging into the foundation, he saw something. After closer inspection, he saw a beautiful blue and black color swirling in the sun. They looked like old 10-pin bowling balls but didn't have any finger holes that he could see. But there was something even stranger that he was about to uncover. After finding it, he would feel like he was some kind of archaeologist on the hunt for artifacts. He found another, then another. He couldn't believe how many were underneath his house. He decided he'd get to the bottom of this and he dug a full two feet lower than he originally planned. There were 160 balls that he could find, but he hesitated after his daughter said something. What's inside them, Daddy? This made David drop the one he was holding and look down. The first clue that he found was the name on each ball. It seemed that there was a company name on it. And what's more, there was even a phone number on each of them too. He gave them a call and explained what he'd found. After this, he got the answers he'd wanted. The company he called was Brunswick Bowling Products and they checked back on their records and then confirmed that he could break them open if he wanted. He even got replies to his Facebook post about it and former employees left comments that gave him even more answers. David got his family to a safe location before bringing out his hammer and smashing the ball. What was inside was truly strange. Billiard balls. He finally figured it out. The bowling balls were duds and had to be thrown out, but the workers decided to take them home instead. The bowling balls ended up having a new purpose. The previous homeowner decided to use them for something clever, but with 160 balls, what was he going to do? Then a local church had the answer. For some odd reason, the local house of worship had a bowling ball cannon. David had no idea what it was used for, but he was at least sure they could be used for something good. Next was his stepfather, who also turned out to be just as creative as he was great at DIY. This was even cooler. The plan was to use them for feet on his furniture projects. Finally, David would keep the rest. He had a brilliant idea to spray paint them in some nice fake rock textures and use them as borders for his gardens or some sort of sculpture. Next was an amusing GoFundMe page. If you have funds to spare and would like to help me find another excavation, please help my cause," he wrote on Facebook. At this point, I could either let my story fade away into the past or I could grab it by the balls and continue the story and spread positive vibes. All he wants is to finish the project he started, but with the potential for more of these pesky little orbs to be hidden under the entire house, he'd need someone to come in and check and help him clear them out. Only then could he get that patio he promised his family.